So I am the Zach Matthews, Carolina Crates Podcast. I am here with Marcel Manzano, Gold Squadron Podcast. Because neither of us are good at X Wing anymore. We're both uh, bad. But I am one place higher than Zach. Exactly so. one place. Yes. From Although we believe that to not be the case <laughs> for a few minutes. We're God, that hurt. Dice so that way it makes the people the angriest. Huh. Um, I would put them right where your Miranda is now is probably okay. So. All right, you're not allowed in here. All right. All right, so. <laughs> what is it? Oh, I guess they can still hear us. All oh, right, so there. Oh, yeah, because it's, it's a smaller crowd yep. today. So, yeah, so we've got Nate Moore against Nick Tobin on the. Top. Nick the Cleaner Tobin. Yep. yep. That's what his wife told me that's his nickname, the Cleaner. And uh, it's going to be a pretty good match, actually. It's, uh, it's um, a big base and small base ship on the Rebel side and on the Scum side. Nick's bringing the only scum yep. list to the top 16. Um, you want to run down uh, Nick's list? Yeah, so Nick, I, Nick's list is pretty interesting. He always kind of goes his own, oh, God, I'm going to say his own way, which will be great in a second here. Um, because uh, he's got Asajj with Expertise, Razi, Glitter Stim, Countermeasure, Shadowcaster title, um, which, I mean, that's a, a solid way to build out Asajj, especially like, so some of the Time Walk ones have suffered. Mm-hmm. Because you have those spots where it's like, oh, I want to be focusing for offense here. So, and, you know, you, it's, you can't always keep her at the same range with everyone else in your squad. So you just, you grab expertise, you take an evade every turn when lats, and you've got damage reduction too with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of extra offensive output. And then he's got uh, Captain Nim. That is my sweet painted Captain Nim <laughs> that knows the way um, with VI, TLT, extra munitions, harpoon. Ion bombs, which from talking to Nick yesterday, did some disgusting work in Swiss. Mm-hmm. Uh, thermal Dets, Trajectory Simulator, Genius, Chips, and Havoc title. Um, so, yeah, that Nim is, it hunts aces. You know, there's a little bit of a palp ace in the field. He ran into my buddy Zach Reynolds, who was on Kylo Sunter, um, and it went bad. It went <laughs> bad for, for Reynolds. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that that's just a well rounded Nim. That's the Nim we're sort of used to now uh, no advanced sensors or engine makes them a little easier to track down but he never has to get in that close and both those ships have a ton of hit points um and the other side is nate moore um oh i did convince him to run engine upgrade so he's running um i've been trying to get him to get engine on ray for a while here me and him have been talking about mm-hmm. it uh so he's on ray miranda which he's been on for a while um expertise ray finn canon jarris engine falcon so that Ray's pretty mobile, um, especially with Debris. She can basically be dash. Um, she takes a little more damage, though, than the, the tanky version that I prefer. Um, and then that's Miranda with TLT, Bomblet, Scanner. So that Miranda is just obnoxious in there. And you, I found I missed the spike damage a lot, mm-hmm. not having the missile. But she can just wear down, especially if they're chasing Ray. Yeah, and I mean, that's really... Um Ray's there to do that 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 upfront damage, and then with Miranda, you're just trying to keep Miranda alive. And and really, what uh, Nate's going to do is just going to do the math in his head and see which is his win condition. He's this this match more than likely will end up going to time. At least that's what Nate wants. Yeah. Uh, so Nate wants to kill Nim. Yep. Uh, and then leave a half point Asajj versus a regenerating. Yep. Uh, and Miranda. It's not only, you know, when people talk about time, it's not just necessarily running to time. When you get up on points, your opponent has to be the one engaging. So if you're mobile, you can choose that spot. So, I mean, if we get to an end game where it's either half of Ray or Miranda against half of Saj, you know, Nate's moving after and repositioning after both ships, so in that case, with Ray, mm-hmm. um, or with Ray and Miranda. So it's like, you know, he can choose when he actually wants to fight Nick if he burns down Nim and half Sasage. Mm-hmm. Um, I will probably be here all day uh, unless I get bored or Dion gets like a <laughs> another warning or something. Whisper Echo? Oh, I don't know if I can dox you. You told me who you are. Thank you for subscribing to Dion's stream. <laughs> oh, I see that. 
I guess. This guy's a little Twitch train. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Only uh, once comes, uh, I'm, I'm, and I'm keeping track of the YouTube chat. The YouTube chat. Yeah, oh yeah, I can so. I can see the YouTube chat too. I just. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and yeah, Robert, there's only one scum in the top 16 and one Imperial in the top 16, 14 Rebel lists. Uh, so Dion is the only Imperial list, and Nick is the only scum list. Everyone else is uh, Rebels, uh, which is kind of going along with the trend of what we've been seeing this whole yeah, uh, I mean, 2018 so far. Basically, once that last wave, uh, that Atani fact hit, like... Rebels all of a sudden got an influx of ships that were on the power curve with everything else. Their other ships that were on that power curve remained unaffected. Like, you know, losing bigs lost a couple of things, but they got a whole bunch of replacements. Um, the other thing, too, is, like, over a long tournament, a lot of the Rebel stuff is just, it's a higher floor. It's, you know, it, it'll, it'll carry you there. I played awful yesterday, mm -hmm. like, just bad X-Wing, and I was 20th like yeah. four and two and i at no point did i feel like I, I don't know i don't know about you but when i'm playing well i i know it in my gut mm -hmm. you know you get that feeling like all right and it, it sort of snowballs and like yesterday all day i was like I, man i went four and two i i don't feel like i won anything yesterday no i i completely agree i've been flying scum the whole year and then yesterday i flew um rebels for the first time i flew two ghosts and a stress ezra and um it really felt like dummy down X-Wing for me. It was like, these choices are easy. I'm not arc dodging. I'm just pointing at you and rolling a bunch of dice and then K turning behind you and keeping you straight. I don't know. There's a lot of thought to playing two ghosts. And then, well, uh, then it takes a while to set dials. <laughs> oh, well. All right. We're not going to go there. <laughs> no, I, I couldn't resist but, that. Joke. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but yeah, it's, it, was, it, was, it was kind mm. of um, easy. Uh, easy. I mean, you know, there's definitely. Uh, I lost against Nick Tobin, by the way, so I do have some experience against Nick. Nick. Uh, beat me. Uh, I'm actually undefeated against Nick Tobin. I beat him in uh, the final table in a store championship. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, my first store champ win. I'm 0-2 against Nick. I lost the final in the Chicago Regional against Nick. Yep, I remember that. And Get then, good. Uh, yeah, and then I uh, lost to him yesterday, and then I also lost to Jeremy Trad. Who? So my only two losses were against you know people that are in the cut, and again it was flying a list that I've been flying what like four or five days. Uh, so the rebels are are kind of. Um, I'm not gonna say easy, but they're 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 at an advantage in the current mm -hmm. in, in the current. Their setup. ships are overall on a higher power curve, mm -hmm. um, and the the thing is, is they do over a long tournament, it favors you because your risks are less risky. You know, like when I was playing, uh, Nate is using the dice app. Yes, he is. Chat. So he's gonna, but we've set it up. You'll be able to see the the rolls yeah. on on the dice app. But yeah, it's just you can get in those positions now where you can trade hit points for position and turns out you actually have more hit points left over after that i mean that's why we see all these ghosts everywhere is you can make a mistake with a ghost and it doesn't punish you that much so the these play mats are really tough to see yeah it's a shame because they they look beautiful but it is so we've got I one can see two, them there yeah yeah, the, the, all six are looks like all six are right there in the center. They're just clustered in the center. Um, Nim's out there showing the way. That is an ugly Nim. <laughs> That's the point. Look at how great it is. <laughs> I'm so proud of that. <laughs> Freaking googly eyes. He knows the way. <laughs> uh, no, that is not correct. ISAP is not forbidden for official tournaments. Yeah, it's an FFG product. Yep. If Dice App was forbidden for official tournaments, Frank Brooks sure missed an opportunity to explain that to Nate at the top eight of Gen Con. <laughs> All right, so it looks like they're setting up at, at opposite ends of each other. Um, and they're... And it looks like they both just want to dance around at this point. Uh, I mean... I think Nim knows how or Nim Nick knows how much danger his Nim is in because mm -hmm. those are two turrets and Nim has one agility, so he yeah. he's not getting out of any arcs. Yeah, and I think the debris field in the center benefits Nate more than it mm -hmm. does Nick because uh, again with cannon, um, he he can just completely ignore debris as long yeah. as he's only flying through one at a time. Now, Nick does have the thermal detonator on his side, so he can shut off that expertise before the start of combat. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, I, I think Nick knows he's going to be having to take focus actions. Yeah. So he may not have that. that yeah, I suppose he doesn't the, have Falcon the, titles. So. Yeah, he won't have the defensive focus because he's probably going to be using it on offense if yeah. he needs it. Decision's kind of made for him. Um, these are basically all the mats. This is actually, I think, the better mat for um, for streaming. Yeah, and this this is their mat. Th these these mats they created. You can see in the in the bottom left of the screen there is a top sixteen yeah. Green Bay regional. So. They actually gave out a ton of mats, which was really cool. They it definitely wasn't on par with um, you know, pastimes. Mm -hmm. I don't think anything's gonna be pastimes. But I was really impressed at the amount of swag given away. Yeah, and. Uh, the they they gave a, the the socks were I thought were nice. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah. So what they did is for all the people that ended up in the bottom, um, they they basically called called their names out and said your dice socks and or your dice suck and they gave them socks. Yep. So, uh, Star Wars socks. Uh, he gave them some uh some of the standard dice too. Did he? Yeah. He. <laughs> so he actually I mean those are those are like eight bucks a pack. So he gave out I don't know how much the pairs of socks are, but. It's a uh, Falcon Two title. It's the uh, the the Sloop title for whoever's asking on. Yeah, it's a uh, it's Sloop and Chewy title. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're gonna be watching all day, and I know you personally, you should hit me with a message and let me know if I can refer to you by your username in chat. I don't want to dock someone by accident, but also I don't want to read your usernames. You ready to show them the way, Nick? You wanna you wanna tell the internet what you're gonna do here, what your plan is? No. All right. I make it up as we go. I say I suppose I, my dumbass would critique it. Ah, I swore already. I would I would critique <laughs> it and be like, oh no, you gotta do this, and then I'm cheating, right? So I can't do that. <laughs> Spirit of Fire, thank you for subscribing to uh, Dion's thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, double P. I'll re I, 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 you have a great pseudonym. You and me, it's all balls. <laughs> On Bobby. All right. Everyone's letting me know what to address him. Oh, hey, does Dion want us to do the vote on who you think will win? Uh, yeah. Let's 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 try that. All so right, guys. If you want, if you think Nick is gonna win, enter a prime number. And if you think Nate Moore is gonna win, enter a number that's not prime. <laughs> oh God, they're listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> One for Nate Moore, two for Nick Tobin. <laughs> Did I, I said two for Nick, right? I don't remember. Yeah, one for Nate, two for Nick. Oh, God. Yeah, so it looks like they're giving the, the the final pep talk out there, and we'll get started here in a minute. So YouTube, this is interesting. YouTube chat overwhelmingly mm. thinks Nate. Nate has it. And Twitch uh, chat is it, mostly it, leaning it, towards Nick. Yeah, I think it's kind of even on Twitch chat. I see one, two, three, four, five for Nate, and one, two, three. Four. Yeah, it's, it's kind of even on Twitch, um, well, YouTube chat thinks Nate has this. Yeah. Um, you know, both lists are scared of each other, I think, which is good. Yeah, they both have have counters against each other. Um, Nate doesn't want to be stressed, and, um, the, yeah, that control. I think the Ion, because they, they, they all have, um, the Ion really doesn't matter uh, in, in this game as much as it probably did in other games because uh, the white forward through a debris is still clear stress yep. and gets no stress. Yeah, so, with cannon. So the ion isn't that big of a deal in this game as much as it probably could be, but that those two thermals may, yeah. come, may come into play. Yeah, actually, th so this just jumped out at me. Between the thermal, the ion, and Asajj, Nick has a really strong stress control element to oh, his yeah. list. Um he can absolutely, like what I was doing in 2015, I mean, he can stress ion stuff, multiple ships, if he lands it right. Mm -hmm. And I think he's probably going to either 
Yep, slam. So he's going to try to get behind Nim and try to catch up to Nim. Yep. Uh, Nim just doesn't move as fast as the Falcon and and Miranda. Most players are going fast. <laughs> Man, I love that Nim model so much. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I'm so glad Nick let me play it. I oh, no, agreed to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he knows the way. Yep, Nick Barrow rolling. He's just getting away. All right, so let's see how. So with this, um, well, it looks like he he barrel rolled away. So he is yep. going to try to keep them uh, away. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm even thinking he's probably going to try to switch the the order where he's going to um, bring Asajj in the inside and then go straight with Nim to try to put Nim on the outside. Um, I think he sees what Nate is going to try to do, and he's going to try to protect Nim with. With the Saj right here. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the plan. So we we know that Nate needs to go for Nim first. What is Nick's? What what do you think Nick's plan is? Nick's, I think Nick's plan is really to try to bait. Oh, Dion forgot to start the timer. Oh, Dion's got a timer on his phone. Is how it starts. Well, let me go. How how do we? Uh, is this it? This is it right here. Yeah. I think we can just let's see what happens, and then what? What do you think? We're at ten minutes in. You think? I can look because they put it on the board once. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll just go match it up. <laughs> so we just found out everyone that is not. Um, on stream. The timer. Oh yeah. So he's gonna come and let us know. All right. So. Are they? Uh, I think this is where we enter it in there. Let's just test. I'm gonna put in a hundred minutes. I, I can't. I can't type in there. Strong. I think you just there's there's an arrow up and an arrow down. Nope. Nah, just hit start. Yeah. Actually, it did work. Oh. So just bring it down. Uh, how do I do that? <laughs> well, whatever you did when you pressed 100. Oh, uh. <laughs> Nathan, help. Uh, 65? Yeah, it Enter. Is. And then start. No, that didn't work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hey, Budget. <laughs> budget, shouldn't you be winning California right now? Yo, so, yeah, he's he's doing what I, I think he's going to go four forward right here with Nim and go uh, hide behind Asajj. And, uh, yeah, I think that's probably um, Nick's best uh, strategy yeah. right now is to try to, to get Nate to – take the bait and, and start shooting against yeah. against the Saj. But at range three, if you can get good shots at range three against the Saj, it's not such a bad deal because at that point he doesn't have the stress. You've got the expertise, you've got the multiple TLTs and you can start poking away at, at a Saj from a distance. Yeah. And I think I've been thinking about it. If you're Nick, I think you have to go for um I think you have to go for Miranda first. Oh yeah. Um because you, you need the two ships to take her down. You're not going to do that with just one. No, but you're not going to catch up to to Miranda. Miranda um, versus Nim Endgame. Miranda wins. Yeah, I mean she's got to kill him. You got, but he doesn't have the engine to get away. Yeah, because you're 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 basically trading two two damage to one. Yeah. At that point. All right. Let's just try hitting that a bunch and see what happens. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay, so. I just got to hit it a whole bunch more. Yeah, he's going to come over and tell us what the actual time is. 
And I'm gonna just sort of wing it. Yep. All right, that's probably close. <laughs> Ballpark. Zach, time better. <laughs> hey, no, this is entirely Dion's fault. Be oh, the time over in California. Whatever. I don't know anything about California other than I don't like it. That's all I need to know about California. It did give us Aaron Rodgers, Clay Matthews, and budget, though, so it's got some redeeming factors. So, unironically, our timer thing is Dion's fault because apparently he can start it. He told me yesterday, he's like, I just, I just start it from my phone and it runs. I'm like, oh, okay. And that guy has got all the tech. I mean, we're sitting here. Uh, I mean, he's got like three screens in front of us. He's got all this gear. He's got like a DJ box. Yeah, here. the amount of time and effort he puts into this is really just impressive. I'm really – like my little brother is a sound engineer, and I'm, I'm seeing Dion use equipment mm -hmm. on par with like what I see in my brother's studio. Yeah, I mean, he um, he, he definitely puts in not, not just uh, the investment – but the time, mm -hmm. I mean, the amount of time it takes to come in here, um, you know, coming in on, on Friday, a couple hours early just to set up to be ready for Saturday, coming in Saturday, yep. doing all the checks uh, and then staying in late after the tournament ends, whether he wins or loses, you know, he'll stay till the end and then clean everything up. Yep. So, oh, yeah, definitely. Um, well, not only that, so like I joked about it because I accidentally um, like minimized all the windows once and I had to reopen them in Chicago. And, like, you know, you can see everyone's, like, last searches, and it's all audio equipment. Like, he's constantly researching this stuff, mm -hmm. and, like, he he has put a ton of effort into really giving us a good presentation. Yeah. Talk louder. <laughs> <Who>? Something Marcel. <laughs> Talk louder. Marcel, are you talking to me from chat? No. Oh, hi, Marcel. I thought that I said, it's Marcel. <laughs> Whoops. I can't read. Font too small. Please help. Okay, so, Rhonda. So, uh, I want to know if the if the talk, talk louder was because you're loud or because we actually, the, the, the sound volumes are off. Um, are, these are set to where they need to be. Okay. Um, so, let us know. That's not, okay. I thought that was someone in the cut. I'm like, oh, that was fast. Um, yeah, and in, in about another 15 minutes, I'll go out and we'll do a... Oh, that's interesting. He actually did a K-turn with... Uh, massage. Well, massage. he wants to engage in one of those open areas. He does not want to try and cut through the rocks. Yeah, I think he saw where Nate was going. He's going to... He kind of noticed that he was, he's probably going to catch up to Nim at some point if, if they keep doing this... This just round robin thing. Um, Nim is just not fast enough to get across the board. Yeah. So, someone asked for a rundown of the top list. Um, I'll try and do this as quick as I can. Nathan and I had number one in Swiss. Uh, it was on Corin. Um, then Lorik, the same list mm -hmm. he was in at, on at the Invitational. Alex Graceman, I believe, is playing um, Ghost Fen. Mm -hmm. Nick Tobin's on screen. Yep. Scott Kuntz is playing an Ego variant with Ezra. Dion uh, is double bolt Kylo. Uh, Francois Murray is on... Um, Nimiranda. Nimiranda, yep. Kevin Eide is on Kanan, Ezra, Lorik. Mm -hmm. um, undocked. Undocked, yep. Uh, Will Hagwood's on an Ego variant. Uh, Grover Murphy is on... Well, William Hagwood's on his... Um, it's an Ego variant. It's, yeah, but it's, it's Miranda. It's, it's the one that he won the Minnesota with. Yep. He's been flying for a while. Yep. Um, yeah, he flies that real well. Um... Grover Murphy, um, Hayden, as he goes by, Grover's his legal name. Don't call him that. Um, Hayden is on Ray Lothal. Uh, Dan Ryan is on, you guys ready for this, three BSFs with trajectory simulator and proton bombs. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. He's, he's playing against Kevin Idy right now. Yeah, um, Kevin Kevin, did, Kevin didn't know, even know what the BSF was this morning. <laughs> um, Jeremy Trad is flying the same thing as Kevin, point for point. Uh, Sarah Tessin is on um, Engine Nora, Ezra, and Lo. Mm -hmm. um, which, is, which is, again, um, basically took the list that it, yeah, that it, William was flying and just swapped it, out one Nora. region for another region. 
I mean, it's what we create. We've been calling it 100 point ace. It's mm-hmm. basically you take a fat regener and you support it. It's this like there's the pole builds that do that too. You take Loric, you, you take you, something that regens lor- and flavor yeah. to taste. Yeah, Loric, a, 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 either Fen or Ezra, and then. And Miranda, regen. Nora, Poe, yeah. your favorite regener. Um, Andrew Gobach, one of my locals, is on Nim, BSF, and a Hawk. Uh, Nathan Moore's on stream. I believe Brandon Prokos is also on um, no, Fen he, Ghost. Yeah, he's doing the Fen Lothal. Yeah, so the, we've got a Fen Ghost mirror at the beginning. Mm-hmm. And Jason Vol is one of my locals. I believe he's on. I didn't see his list, actually. Which one? Uh, Jason Vol, the 16th seed. He's playing Nathan right now. Oh, he's uh, he's he's actually got the exact list as uh, William Haywood. Oh, is it? Yeah. I thought he had two. I thought he had two Wookies. Well, so, somebody else is flying the exact same list as William Haywood. Um, that's Scott, who's basically flying the same list. Okay. Then, yeah. then I don't know. Yeah, I thought it was like it was two Wookies in an arc. I didn't catch what it was. But this is his first regional. He made the cut, so mm-hmm. pretty hyped for him. I yeah. just he wasn't flying that. It says Marcel is quiet. Can you put mine up? Yeah, a yeah, yeah. Bit? He wasn't pl- he wasn't flying it Thursday night before we went up. So when I saw it, I was like, "What?" And I just had, I haven't had a chance to look at it. Okay, yeah, that's good. And uh, to John, the the match against Ryan Fleming uh, went well. I actually, won that one, one hundred to twenty two. That's going to be up on um, YouTube, I think, in the next installment of the uh, the mind game. So that'll probably be up. Did you guys do that on Vassal? No, we did it. Uh, Ryan Fleming came to Chicago. What? I would have come down there. That's what you said when you saw it on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, so Ryan Fleming came down, and he's going to be part of the next uh, mind game. So it was me and him um, playing against each other. So that will be up probably on, on Tuesday or Wednesday. All right, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, so far right now I'm I'm liking Nate's Nate's uh, position and approach. Mm-hmm. I think Nate is controlling and and it's making Nick do things that probably Nick did not expect to do. One, yeah. You know, I'm I'm sure at the start of the game he's gonna say, "Oh, I'm gonna K turn with with Asajj and then have to take the next force of green and then action to re." position my arc to, yeah. to the left. I mean, that probably wasn't in Nick's um, initial idea. So. Mogensen, yeah, that is L5R Jason. Josh, what what is Jason's list, if you'd be so kind, since that's the only one we apparently don't know? Okay, so Nathan coming straight here. Yeah. And he positioned the arc to the left. So. Yep. I so Nim is probably too hard riding here. Yeah, so there's, there's a couple of things that this next move that Nick can do. He can go one forward to keep that stress arc pointed at. At. Nate, because if he turns it into him, he's gonna lose the the stress arc. Nate's awfully close to that board edge when there's a uh, <laughs> trajectory simulator nim around with ion bombs. Oh yeah, <laughs> but I, I don't. There's not really a way to, to to land it on him right now. Too hard right, launch. Mm? Too hard right, launch. Talon roll, launch. Well, you can't launch after the move anymore. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, and he does have genius, but I think that's just genius to move and drop behind them only. So, it looks like they're in range to fire right now. Uh, Just curious what that Nim is going to do. OK, 
Cause it looks like it looks like he's got the Braylon the that arc. Yeah, the stress, yeah. This the stress Braylon. Triple keys, but with stress Braylon in there. Which is kind of interesting. It's an interesting call because right now Ezra is just so. Ezra's better, yeah. Yeah, with the snap and you, you've get you've gotten you've got so many different. It's a lot Nick cheaper. Mike bump here. And it's a lot more. Oh, he's got it. Oh. Nice. Side note: If you're in Milwaukee and you're not doing anything today, uh, Ryan Krippendorf's demoing Vampire Hunter at Mayfair for all my Milwaukee locals that are watching right now. That man, that is a that is a nice fit, but this is rough for uh, for Nick because he can't barrel roll to get out of range array there, yeah. and he's not going to be able to put a bomb where he wants to next turn. Yeah, he's dropping that bomb in front. Actually, he might be able to get that with a barrel roll. He loses. The um, he he loses some defensive. He doesn't get to take a defensive action. Mm -hmm. But a barrel roll to the right and back lets him. Oh, he's going for the target lock. He's going to try to land that. Oh yeah, he's got that harpoon. harpoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I still think a barrel roll to the right leaves the 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 trajectory simulator able to the throw trajectory that. simulator thread open. Yeah, because then it'll. Put it closer to where both of them will be next turn. Nick checking to see if he has stress range on Ray Strong. That was actually a really great boost by Nate. Do we have the dice up? I don't. Oh, there. Yup. Right. There we go. Dice up. Oh, so hard to see. Ree. Okay. So it looks like Nim's gonna shoot first with the harpoon. Yep. There it is. Oh, and he's throwing into Ray. He's got the chip, so. Spending the lock. Mm -hmm. Just needs one more hit for four. There's a focus, and I can't see. Uh, oh, he's so using the white dice. So it's three. Yep. Two. Evades, he only takes one. That's yep. that's. Uh, I mean, he gets harpoon, but um, on a one agility ship, you only take one off a harpoon. Yeah. Uh, with guidance chips, that I think that's a win. And now here's. Nate. Yeah, he's in arc, so that's gonna hurt for. So he's rolling his first is three, and then he'll get the. Oh my. Okay. So he's gonna roll the other two. <laughs> three crits, strong. <laughs> he must cook his dice. Oh. Oh, right Natty's back right back. Natty. Outplayed. Oh. Look at how good Nick is at rolling dice. That's <laughs> skill. Well, look how good Nate is at pressing buttons to yep. get dice results. Yeah, I don't think this is the engage Nick wanted, but he's gonna he's gonna have to make do with uh make do with what he's got. Yeah, and I, I don't think he's got arc on this one he doesn't have range in arc to be able to do the the re-rolls on this one so yeah and uh ouch that's gonna hurt oh uh, it's two yeah so oh um, he lost three shields on this one yep we can do that one on nim and three on three on ray and check no, this no, out he lost three oh shields three yeah together one from the first one and so ray should be at one right she's got four shields yeah <laughs> See, internet, I'm not the only one who does that. Ray starts at five shields. People won't let me forget. And then Nim spent his harpoon missiles. No, no. Wait, he lost... <laughs> three shields. Four shields altogether. One on the first attack. And two on the second. So three shields. Oh, he lost three on the second. He landed all three hits. Oh, he landed three hits? Nice. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We can see... No, we can't. <laughs> Dang yeah, it, but he, he lost. He's only got one shield left. Yeah. So, um, yeah, definitely Nick got the the result that he wanted. I'm going to try something here. Nope, oh, nope. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there it is. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, one shield on Ray. I mean, why not? Mm-hmm. If they end up in that corner, we'll ask them to move. But, I mean, right now... That actually works out pretty well. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
yeah. It's kind of tough on... <laughs> Twitch chat reacting to Dice, dice App. It may or may not be Chris Allen's birthday today. <laughs> There's been some confusion, but happy birthday to Chris Allen again, if it is his birthday. Where is the con I, I got I got the Facebook notice Yeah, saying it's uh, his birthday. Some of us got notifications on, like, Tuesday or, or Friday or something. I don't know. I think he's just trying to double up on the gifts. So this is an interesting um, next move here. Uh, he's going too forward. I think it's probably, um, yeah, he, more than anything, I think just really just trying to guarantee that stress arc uh, and shut down. Oh, there we go. I figured out how to turn it off. Look at me, guys. I'm the internet now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know this is, I mean, he probably wanted to do a three forward, but, like, you don't know if that fits, so. No, he's going to be turning in because he wants to keep that front arc on. Yep. On Nip. Yep. Yeah, he does. He really doesn't care a whole lot about about Asajj right now. Yeah. Even though this is going to hurt if he doesn't have the the right yeah. arc on. And I don't know. It doesn't look like he has arc on Asajj, so this might actually turn out to be really painful yeah. for him. Um, well, so, I mean, the question is if you're Nick, and, though. And then a 5 Sloop bomb here. Oh, this is actually rough. A five sloop bomb might actually land on. Uh, five sh or uh, trajectory. Oh yeah, a trajectory limit. Yeah. Might actually land on. Yeah, this is rough. Yeah. Do you ion bomb or do you thermal? This is probably what Nick's thinking about right now. I think you have to ion. Well, actually. Bo Oh man, if you ion you Ray, ion bomb, you guarantee back shots on the next round with um, Asajj again. Yeah. So I think that because well, if you thermal, you double stress it because yeah. Asajj can Asajj can stress right here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think I know how to turn it back on. I. Uh, what did you turn off? Oh, the so the dice box. Oh, because Nate's got his phone there. Oh, okay. So, you so it off. yeah. So he's using thermal. Thermals, yeah. He's gonna go for the double stress. Um, yeah, I think that was this was one of those situations where you do a, a, either a one or a. Does Nick not have his bomb token? Good job, Nick. Man, that went further than we thought it would, though. It's still gonna land. Yeah. Um, it's it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit Ray. Yeah, it's not looking good for Nate right now. Yeah, I, I think Miranda's probably still his win condition, though. Yeah, but he's got to put enough damage on Nim early enough. Yeah, and um, if Nick, like, three-hearted here and bumps into uh, Ray, okay, so that's that's bad news for Nim. Yeah, Nim, incidentally, also in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, but only taking that one shield in the first round. Um, and this is where not having the missile on Miranda really hurts. Yeah, because um, you can't do any spike damage here. Yeah, and, and I, I get the whole engine on, on Ray. Uh, mm -hmm. But at the same time, taking those four points and putting them on a missile at Miranda. Yeah. I mean, it's, well, you, so what are the ones... Both but they're both good choices, so you know. I've been thinking about plasma torp a lot, actually, over mm -hmm. the bomblet generator. But um, yeah, this is definitely like the thing is, you want that ray, and rebels just don't have an excellent second piece there to fit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I forgot to spit down in my brothers. Marcel, I don't know if you've seen that dumb meme. Which one? The 
the Uganda Knuckles, the Do You Know the Way? <laughs> I've got some great videos to show you later. <laughs> All right. I, I'm afraid to show anything on air because I don't want to get fair used again, but uh, but that Nim knows the way. Oh, Fricty just up for two months in a row, so mm -hmm. that's uh, that's pretty hype for Dion. The what? Uh, we got uh, Fricty subscribed. I don't know, I've watched I've watched other people on Twitch and they call out and thank subscribers, so I'm gonna keep trying to do that. Oh, okay. I'm trying to channel Fric my Fricty. I thought you, I thought you were saying fifty. Oh, Fricty. It's, it's Fric. Fee. Oh, whoops! Got I got to turn the dice thing back on. Yeah, here. yeah. Oops. So he rolled. Hit it, crit. Oh my the, god! Uh, rough. This is gonna be. So he's. Yep, he's just all in for damage. Harpoon's about to happen and to then everyone the here. Re -roll. Oh, this is good. Oh, finally. Hit crit and. Um, we have the technology. Yeah. So one second. So he's. The crit is thrust control fire. Oh, Nick is correcting him as to which one is. Uh, yeah, because first you deal the harpoon and then you take the. Yep. So he's got. Yeah, so he's down to five hull on. Direct. Oh, it's a direct. Oh my god! So he's down to four hull. Uh, yeah, so Nick's Ray is down to four hall. Asajj could kill Ray here. Yeah, you wanna... Oh, yep, yep. And then he's down to three. And then Asajj... They all took one, Took yeah. one from the Harpoon Splash, and so did Nim. Nim. All right, so what's going on here? Uh, these... Oh, these are the TLTs from... Yeah. yeah, so I think he wants to build the TLTs first. Yeah, makes sense. And then, um, yeah, so that's another hit. So he's down to one. Has Nate got hits that aren't crits yet? I don't know, but he, here we go. He wanted to do this because he wants to, if there's in case there's a crit, he wants to be able to do it on this one. Yep, no, exactly. Okay, he's got the focus token, so that's... Yep, so that's strong. That's good. He needed that. Yep. Natties. <laughs> He's three for three. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> so, all right. So, uh, let's do a damage count here. So, Ray is down to four hall. And with this, how many cards did he take? Two and a crit. Two and a crit. Yeah. I didn't see what the crit was. I think it's... I don't know how to zoom in on that side. That was yeah. just dumb luck earlier. <laughs> all right. Asajj into Ray here. Presumably. Expertise for two. Oh, he's got a target lock. He is oh, dull. He's dead. This could be dead Ray. Ray is dead. Oh, this hurts so That bad. hurts for an eight. Oh. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, on the bright side, the next TLT shot is going to kill. Um, so th this is not a game it's over still a by game, any yeah. means because um, it is absolutely it, still a game. We're, we're a TLT away from killing Nim, mm -hmm. and then you have the matchup that Nate wants, which is one ship versus one Ray. ship versus Ray. Yeah, I mean versus Miranda. um, yeah, it's a Yeah, you don't care as long as Miranda is alive and relatively healthy uh, against one other ship. She's usually in good shape. Yeah. And Ryan has got that bomblet, which Nim know or which Nick knows. I think Nick it's weapons failure on Nim. Somebody was able oh. to zoom in on it. Nice. Oh, redemption we tournament! Yeah. I just heard him call it seventy-five minutes. I was like, "What?" <laughs> Let me go see the time. Yeah, let's go get an actual time update. All right, Twitch chat. I'm trying to be real professional here. Oh, is that my mic? There we go. Trying to be super f professional here. Channel my inner Peter Fu. Huh? 44. 44 minutes left in round. You went here. Uh, I clicked on that. Yeah, pause. I, I clicked pause, I think. Click on that. And then click it again. Or hit stop. Yeah, hit stop. And then there's a One, little like. Two, three, four, five, start. Oh, actually. Okay. What? 
Yeah, so about 44 or 43 minutes left in the round, guys. Yeah, there hey, go. there we go. About a minute off. Yeah, so Nick is actually in a rough position because even though he just nuked that ray, he lost a lot on him. Yeah, and that that is true to whoever said it. it's uh, 14 Rebel, 1 Scum, 1 Imperial. Uh, you're seeing the only Scum, and Dion has the only Imperial with Kylo and, and two gunboats. Um, and everything else is Rebel. Yep. And if you remember about a year ago, year and a half ago, everybody was complaining there's no Rebels anywhere. It's all yep. Imperials and Scum. Uh, but yeah, that's the way it goes, and then we'll see with um, FFG is not great at this whole faction balance thing. No, uh, not historically. Yeah, it was funny. I saw some tournament that was like is nine Imperials and seven Rebels in the top sixteen, and I got this warm fuzzy feeling, and I'm like, oh, that looks great. And I was like, oh, there's no scum at all. <laughs> I don't care about scum. So this is kind of interesting. I, I think right here uh, he's definitely going to go for the target lock. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's just going to well, he keep. Already did, yeah. yeah. he's just going to keep target locking. Yep, bomblet. That's not going to be close, unfortunately, for him. Mm -hmm. But um, I think that's just kind of a reminder that you know it's there. So this might not be so bad um, position right here for. Nate, because there's a possibility that there's no, not a possibility. I mean, it looks more most more likely that uh, Nick will not have a shot on Miranda with the Nim. Yeah. Um, because it's either gonna bump or you're not gonna have you know the TLT. You're gonna be inside that bubble. And he's gonna genius bomb here. He can't if he bumps. Uh, is he bumping? It's tough to tell with the size of the shadow caster. Nope, he's he's picking, grabbing stuff he's, like he's, he's uh, picking stuff up. So, yeah. okay, yeah, this is gonna suck, and he's probably gonna stress him, maybe. Ion. Oh, Ion. Okay. Because he's gonna stress him with Asajj. Yeah. Yeah, this is. Uh, on the bright side, he's not losing any health. Yeah. Uh, and oh. at, at this point, Nate just cares about keeping Miranda alive, even with a couple hall. Yep. With um. With Nim dead. Now Nick has been getting really close. This is the second maneuver he does that that is that that is millimeters um in range. Um, and look at that. He's barely rolling out of the way to get that TLT shot. In. Yep. Um, uh, do you want that? Because you're giving Miranda a free opportunity to regen now. Yeah, because otherwise she would not take a... She'd have to take a range one. She would so have to take a range one and probably not want to... Yeah, I mean, she could still get the kill, I guess. I suppose if you're just trying to put extra damage in here... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Sasha's so ionized. Oh, okay. I think Nick's fine with that. He's yeah, like, he whatever. Care. It's no damage. That's probably why he did the ion instead of the thermals because so he, he does turn off his must, own expertise. Wants to keep expertise on. Yeah. Yep. But um, again, this is not this is not horrible. Um, Nick's gonna suffer. Nate's gonna suffer probably four or five damage here. Get down on shields, but uh, again, can always regenerate one. Oh, so you're gonna just. Uh, yes, please, actually. All right, so we, let's see what we got. He, TLT number one. Oh, he's got two. weapons failure, and yep. he evaded it, so that's uh, one. Forgot all about the weapons mm -hmm. failure. That's why I was thinking you just sit there and Take it. don't shoot that turn. I don't see what happened on the first TLT. I, I did not see, but there's the first one, and then yeah. he's going to spend his focus. Yep, so dead name. All right, and it looks like uh, Miranda still has four shields, so missed both TLTs. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You just stay there, range one. Oh, no, actually, he, he lost 
So he regenerated one. Yep. There's one. Here's target, the target lock. lock. Three. Three shields. Uh, he's not afraid of that. He's yeah. fine with that because at this point, this is where, where Miranda's. Oh, tractor, tractor beam. beam. Yep. But there's no debris there, so he's just basically making sure that. Uh, he's still gonna get another. Yeah. Uh, good shot. Oh no! Yeah, he's on another debris there. Is that? That's debris. Yep. Yeah. See, you can. Oh, and it's ion. Yeah. So Miranda is. So Miranda's in double in, stress in a bit ion of a now. here. Yeah. Um. Bull ships are one forwarding this turn. Yeah. So let me update here. So Nim is dead. What the heck? It's a mouse. He did not launch and drop in the same round. He launched the previous round and then dropped the next round. And then Miranda. Yeah. Is uh, YouTube chat talking about how fast that ray died? That ray will go down. I I jokingly refer to the two rays as tank ray and takes damage ray, um, because I'm unbiased and like to be accurate. Oh, it's another stress. Yep, another stress. Range two. And he's going to be regenerating here. Yep. And another target. Nick would like to evade this naturally. Yes, lots. he would. Yeah, it looks unobstructed. Actually, it probably benefits Nate to be obstructed. Yeah, he's out on the first one. He's safe. He took the stress. He didn't have to. He only landed one. What? Yeah, he he. it was hit focus, and he rolled the natural evade and still pulled the... I'm not... Yeah. I mean, hey, that's... <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah. Expertise for three. Did he misread the dice hat, maybe? Yeah, I think he misread it, yeah, because uh, he, he pulled the stress when he didn't need to. Oh, and he gets the tractor beam again. Forward into a debris. Oh, wow, this is... I don't know if you want forward there. You probably want to. No, he wanted just to guarantee that he gets on the debris, but uh, it actually helps. Ho, 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 ho. That's a face-up card on Miranda. And which is what? Um, give me the mouse. I know how to do this. Dion's wait, wait, blinded, blinded pilot. pilot. Okay, actually, that's huge. May not really, because you can. Because she can't three. regen. No, so you, you can't regen this one, but. If you can do like a three soft to the left, yeah. you'll be you'll you'll spend your blinded pilot when there's no attack from anywhere because there's nothing really here that uh, even a three hard I think may may still get you out of yeah but then you're not clearing <laughs> stress this is rough uh, this yeah, the blinded pilot no regen he's gonna target lock here again. Oh. No, no, he's evading. Oh, that's interesting. Um, oh, okay. He already had the lock. Yeah. Oh, no. This is so not good. Because he... And he's not going to regenerate. Um, yeah. Nate using it. Oh, no, he's going to the dice app for the debris. Hey, remember earlier when I was like, Nate's rolled a lot of crits here? Yeah. <laughs> so, blinded pilot. We'll bomb it first. That's, I see a blank and a... Looks like two blanks. Two blanks, yeah. He didn't take any shields off. So, it's going to be no uh, a free shot here. No regen. Um, this is rough. Uh, it's the range three through a debris, so he does get three agil three green dice. Yep. But uh, it's three green dice against a fully modded attack. Yep. Nick needs damage to stick here. Oh, oh there oh. it is. Oh, right. oh, oh. Let's see what it's going to do this here. This could be game. Oh, One, so it's a, a hit crit. Yep. Uh, and um, that did not look like a happy Nate, whatever that was. Does There's that not a lot of words. Like it's a direct probably hit. direct hit. I think that's direct hit. Looks like I see the two damage. So yeah. that brings um, him down to one. Oh, yeah. 
Interesting move by Nick here. Oh, that is. Oh, he wants to avoid the bombs, but at this point, I really don't care about the bombs. I just want to make sure I can get my kill. Yeah. Because he's going to regenerate one right here. He's going to go one soft to the right. Yep. I think Nick's plan is that he can take one turn of this. Yeah, because he's going to take the bomb either way. Mm -hmm. I would have almost considered just, <laughs> just, just crashing. Into, you've got the target lock. Just crash into Miranda. Yeah, because you just need to get a couple damage. Each stress right for here, a turn. Yep. You know, you're shooting at range three again. Yeah, because he's got a – yeah, doesn't take the bomb, though, so. Yeah. I mean, it might still work out. I think that blinded mm -hmm. pilot, I mean, that cost him two. Yep, range three. Is he a pilot skill zero or something? Who? No, no, he was checking oh. um for the Asajj stress. Okay. Yep. He's attempting to stress so, Miranda. So he's regenerating, rolls nothing. Yep. And then. So, up a shield. And two. I think if you're Nick, you don't spend the stress. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, or or, just or, or, or just like, has he rolled anything other than? <laughs> uh, he rolled a lot of blanks on his nim. His nim took a lot of the damage that went in. <laughs> All right, so let's see what happens here. Target. Um, two. So there is a possibility to mm. live here with two greens. That's game. And it doesn't work out. Nicely played by Nick. Yeah. Uh, you feel for Nate because he got a really good opening engage off. Yeah, it was just that blinded pilot and, um, you well, know. On, and like I said, that Ray takes damage, and he took a lot of damage quick. I think he underestimated how much expertise Asajj puts out. Oh, yeah, especially at range one. Um, out of arc. And, and yeah, it, I, th I think that two hard in was such a – I think that was the, the main move that really cost him. Um, I was uh, I thought he was gonna do a one soft uh, along the bottom of the board edge, um, to to keep arc on both ships. Yeah. And keep. Oh, when Nick's too hard with the size. Yeah, there? right here at. The yeah, way. that was that was a risky play, because but that's it really. That's the one that got him the, because that puts you in in the trajectory simulator. Yep. And and I think he just mis mis um, calculated. Yeah. Where that five forward ends up. But, I mean, he grabbed, you know, he was smart. He switched the eye on there, mm -hmm. keeping his expertise on, and then he knew where Miranda was going half the game. Yeah. And there he is. There, <laughs> there they are talking about the, the thing. So, um, Oh, Nate's showing off his cool grippies. So this is one thing I love about Nate is he does pay a lot of attention to just, like, how to make the game life easier. Mm -hmm. um, like, he gave me some grippies a couple of years ago. I have them set aside for whenever I'm playing, like, double reposition aces. And then um, – He'll usually offer you a tape if you want to hold uh, mm -hmm. your arcs down. Oh man, we should get, we should get their both of them. Their wife and girlfriends are here, mm -hmm. or Nick's wife, Nate's girlfriend. I assume neither of them have a side other one of those things. <laughs> 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 we should just get them. To, we should just got them to stream and trash talk. <laughs> oh yeah, that would have that would have been interesting <laughs> having the the significant others over here um, co commentating on the game. Yeah. Yeah. Nick's wife last night told me she has heard my voice in her house <laughs> when Nick is watching streams or uh, this one podcast. So here we are Nate, with Nate. Hugs. Oh, dude, I'm fine. No, no, he, it was great. Hey, well, it, it sucks great. to lose. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. not fun. Yeah, did you see, like, his dice were great and his crits were perfect? Well, the, the, the big one is... The pilot. Yeah. Um, we were talking... Uh, we got Nate right here. Um, uh, we got another mic. Yeah, give me a headset. Um, a here, I'm loud enough. Okay. I will bear this burden. So, oh, man. We Did were talking see? about the um, – at, at the bottom of the table, mm -hmm. when you two-hearted in with Ray, we thought that was the, the – like the, the, the deciding factor because that's what got you into that trajectory simulator. Mm -hmm. uh, we were thinking you were going to one soft along the board edge to mm -hmm. keep mark on both. Um, I should have done that. I was yeah. thinking about doing a two, but like I was like, well, if this way, if he tries to like bug out or something, I can mm -hmm. still give him an arc. What if he does this? What if he like does this and barrels and this? I want to make sure that I could kill Nim, and then by doing that, uh, the two, I guarantee no matter what, I was gonna have Nim and arc, and I didn't was like, I don't think I'm gonna hit be hit by trajectory. I got clipped by you know mm -hmm. hair nail. Yeah, I was surprised that so when Nick did the one bang, 
I thought some of his more aggressive turn-ins mm -hmm. would have gotten a bump there, which would have saved a lot of damage on him. Yeah. I think that really clutch move was when he did that um, hard two and didn't hit Asajj. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. You can't place the bomb if you crash. He's like, I didn't crash. I was like, oh! So, no, I know. Me and him have squared off um, at the uh, store... Um, the store championship, uh, the Wandering Dragon was down to me and him, and there was one move where it was like, if I did a three bank, I would have blocked him, and then his last ship would have gone off the board. Um, I didn't see it. Dion saw it, but like, I don't know mm. how many people actually saw it, so I did that, and he actually went off the board, came back onto the board with Jess Pava and blew me apart, and I was like, oh my god, you deserve the win just yeah. for that move. So, he's, he's really good yeah, he's so. a good guy, and he's a really good player. I thought I did well I just think, he like... He actually got a good opening engage. Mm-hmm. But, like, part of it is... Then the opening him. engagement... Uh, well, because, no, oh, that's when, like, he took, like, what, two shields off of me and I took one off Nim or something, or... Yeah. Yeah, yeah that had, wasn't that he great. Had, he had two guns on you and you only had one on him. Mm -hmm. I mean, you avoided eating thermal. Or yeah, eating, uh... The, uh the, eating the um, trajectory simulator was kind of what I was thinking. Is you yeah. put yourself in a good position to avoid the bombs or... Mm-hmm. That's what I was trying to do. Um... And then, like, I kind of avoided most of the Harpoon Missile. I ha if I had a focus, I could have avoided all of it, mm. but eh. yeah. So I was like, one. And then that ended up helping me anyways, because then everyone took damage that round. It's like, fine. Yep. If I take damage, I'm taking it down with That's me, this. so. And it's, it's the struggle with Ray Miranda, right? Because, like, when you look at, like, Nick, he had two fully built-out ships. Mm -hmm. You've got kind of, you know, like, budget Miranda. Mm -hmm. And then Ray, you've got the maneuverable Ray, which means when he got in there at range one with Asajj, mm -hmm. that damage just stuck. Like, Let it's... I'm, I'm gonna give you this. I'm gonna actually go do a table check. And okay. Then, yeah. And then you guys could probably talk to Nick in a second, because he's probably gonna go up one more. Ah, uh, shoot. How many? Ha so I really wanted everyone to notice. Um, did you did you see all my special dice on the table? <laughs> did. did you see all the regional dice? Twi Twitch chat noted that you used the dice app. Oh yeah. No, I have dice. <laughs> what? I have dice. I have dice. <laughs> I don't. Hey, hey, language, sorry, sorry, language, language, language. language. I, I swore once already. All right, I, all right, I'm that's my one. Good for I whispered. I'm trying to be really good for Dion. I'm I have dice. It's so hard. I have dice. You want them? Mm. Mm. That's what you got to do. Oh, oh enjoy the melt, hate. You should melt those dice and make a phone case out of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to melt them down and make a phone and, case. And mm. live stream the process. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the hatred. I, I, I could early. feel the hatred. So, mm, I laughed yes. early because, like, all your all your first offensive rolls were either crit or blank. Yeah. And then, I, like, I, I, like I said, like, right before he put you on the debris, I was like, man, you just rolled a lot of crits today. And then, oh, yep, there's another one. Like, yeah. Oh. So that's the funny thing about the dice app. It goes hot and cold. People are like, oh, you can hack it. I'm like, clearly I'm not hacking it because right. I died. But so, like, um, yeah, that double damage crit on Ray. I need her to survive one more. I needed him to roll, like, one blank just so I could survive one round to kind of take some heat off of Miranda for something. Yeah. The one we were surprised about mm -hmm. is when you did the one bank off the debris, we thought you were going to just, like, three bank to get out of dodge and try and regroup. I don't know. Like, I was thinking about that, and I was like, <sighs> I should have. Yeah. I probably should have. I, 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 I was I think trying in to, that like, spot, you, you kind of want to give yourself that opportunity. Yeah, to just get out. Yeah. And my freaking bombs didn't do crap either. Yeah, but. Oh my gosh, I've lived that bomb yeah. life so many times. It's like, like it's, bomb life, and then doesn't do anything. Yeah, you wanna yeah. you wanna play the variance machine, like especially so you play two ships, mm -hmm. play more ships, and bomb your own ships. And oh watch yeah, that roller coaster. I did that actually. One of the store championships I won. One of the last things I did is I had like a uh, four TLT Y wings just because I wanted to be a jerk, yeah. and that um I had two with bombs, and in the last engagement I bombed both of my ships. The one, so like at. Crate Cup, I had so many exchanges where I dropped a bomblet that, like, I had one that hit two of my ships for no damage. Yeah. Or then I was playing Paul, and I dropped a bomblet that I knew would hit my Lorik, who was pretty healthy at the time, because mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure. I'm like, this is the place Kylo can't go. It's bad if Kylo goes there. So Kylo, you know, repositions to not go there. Mm -hmm. Crit crit on Lorik for two direct hits. What the heck? <laughs> that sucks. Dude, that bomblet. That sucks. Uh, uh, I know, I know. It's it's a gamble. It's like, like whenever you bomb, it's like it could be good or it's stupid that it's infinite. Yeah, but like it, it equals out. You know, it's fair. It's it's a roller coaster ride. It is. It is because you're like, yeah, it's just it's more of a deterrent for everything. Uh, two a double crit snapshot triggered harpoon oh. <laughs> and direct direct. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, that's silly. Who are you up against? Uh, 
Grover with uh, Oh local, Hayden, my boy, one of my locals. Uh, lawful uh Gray. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that that uh um that put his lawful down to two health. Dang. In the second round of combat. So Hagwood hey, can tell you yesterday, like my bomblets and everything. Uh when we went yesterday, were you both using my app? You both used the app. What? So but yeah, um your evades win what, fifteen? Uh, straight blanks. I had 15 straight blanks against Will uh, Hagwood yesterday, which was just disgusting. And we're both using my app, by the way. It's rolling well for him, not for me. <laughs> my bomb, his bomblet did like a hit and crit so on my ray. The dice app yeah. doesn't like you. It's trying to bring you shame. It is. It is. I'm like, come on, dice app. We're on the mainstream media now. Come on, let's do this together for us. And then like it's like, the no. So that's fine. Sozin, I think Sozin wants you to put away the uh, the dice app. By the way, mm. he's he's encouraging you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I just feel it, mm, the hatred. I just wash myself in it. Nate Moore oh, remains unmoved yes. by human emotions. Yes. <clears throat> like, you know why I use it, right? No, actually. Okay, so here's the reason why I use a dice app. It's a psychological thing for myself. Um, if I roll actual physical dice, it makes me feel like, you know, bad results are personally my fault. I take it personally. Whereas if I use a machine, it's just kind of ones and zeros. Um, then... It's just, it is what it is, and that's it. You know, just it's that. Whereas I feel like, oh, I flicked my wrist in the wrong way. Oh, that was my fault that I flipped it. So, anyways, what's, what's I'm this? I'm trying to get Nick Tobin over here. Tobin, Tobin, come here, come here, come here. So, I would make right. fun of you for that, but yeah. I used to believe that if people touched my dice, they were cursed forever. Oh, yeah. So, I actually have, like, 28 X-Wing dice, and I've been giving them away for a while, because I used to just buy new sets of people. No, I believe them. that. No, um, X-Wing players are superstitious. We are. Like, um, my buddy Jerry at our store... Um, if you ever play Jerry, we always hear the words about Jerry's dice. He will mop you with his so, dice. I got over that superstition and started acting like a reasonable human being about it. <laughs> but then I realized I also haven't made a cut at a regional since I got there. So yeah. maybe related. Ah, we'll see. All right, come on. Let's get this Nick, guy you in. Nick, tag come in on. and get some disrespect? Yeah, yeah, get in. Yeah, sure. Come I, on, man. I suppose I deserve it. Yeah, you definitely yeah. do. All right, he's got to take this forward. This is uh, You only get so many regionals to go to. Yeah, this is so. former... This Chicago regional champion, Nick Tobin. Wandering Dragon champion. Not the store champion at the store that I forgot what it's called that we closed down. I don't know either. <laughs> oh, it's sad. We don't know where we met. That was three years ago, Fair. at least. Oh, God, look how old we've become. At the at that store championship, when I parked my car and I got there, I saw the tattoo parlor. I'm like, oh, man, if I win this, I'm totally going to go get, like, a rebel <laughs> tattoo or something. Too bad they were close. Right, at, right after... You and me finished our game. I walked out, and I looked at it, and they closed the open sign. And I look up, and I'm like, thank you, God, for calling my bluff. <laughs> well, it was midnight at that point. Right? Isn't uh -huh. that where tattoo parlors make their money? Are you allowed to tattoo drunk people? I've heard mixed stories about it. I've heard you're not, but then I've also seen tattoos that can only be explained by alcohol. Did you get one last night? No. Oh, okay. No tattoos. <laughs> yet. yet. Maybe. Not on my body right now. I'm taking no, she doesn't want to. If this weren't plugged into like a million things that are expensive, I would just hold up the laptop. <laughs> want to so, say some words, thoughts on that game? Did did Nim help show you the way? Yes, Nim <laughs> helped showed me the way. It's D way. Sorry, D way. We're yeah, um, you guys. I guess just a good f lucky maneuver to get Nim in position really helped. I mean, after our five k massage and going too straight the next turn and fitting that too hard there just yeah. literally by a millimeter um just getting me allow me to set up that harpoon on the next turn if yeah. i didn't get that he would have been out of position i was surprised that you shot that harpoon at ray early i thought you would save those for miranda no Any thoughts on that yeah just ray if i leave her to end game especially with engine upgrade just arc dodge sash so okay. it's really I don't want to see either ship in endgame, but at least versus Miranda, I can always disengage when I want to. Okay. And she can't regen those shots. Reengage when I want. She can only regen one shield with the target lock and expertise. I can really lay in the hurt. Five straight Asajj out. So in an Asajj versus Miranda endgame, Asajj is better. That was actually really great play on your end too, is a lot of people when they're taking, you know, the the fat Asajjas, they sort of don't think about their actions. They start evading a lot. Mm -hmm. Or they focus when they should be evading. And you correctly assess that Nim was his main target. Like we talked about that a bunch before the game. Mm -hmm. Like Nate's gotta get Nim. So you just rolled up and said, Cool, I'm taking target locks. I yep. know you're not shooting and expertise did work that game. Oh yeah. Too. Yeah. 
So that was like you made a lot of good decisions to get there. So mm -hmm. congratulations on you and on your dice. Yeah, you get dice. Yeah. Yay! Remember, Third regional. <laughs> as as you know, don't touch the prizes yes, before the end I, of the tournament. No. I learned my lesson. Yep. Such a nice plaque. It is. It's great. Yeah, it's right sure next, it looks nice. It is right next to my Continental Runner Up plaque. <laughs> yeah. I have a really lame shelf at home because I'm not handy and I'm lazy. So it's just I'm somewhat handy, but really lazy. So it's just all my plaques leaned up against the wall and then my Invitational Champ and my Crossroads trophy sitting in front of them. And then like some random Armada ships for decoration. I got a nice display case that I built to display all the ships and all prizes that I get. So looks really nice. I might do that when I quit X-Wing. I've been thinking about it. No, but do it now I, while you can appreciate it. But I'm, I use all my stuff. I either use it or sell it. So, oh. Yeah, that won't do well for you. But if you sell everything, what no. are you going to display? Oh, well, I, I keep I keep my favorite set of stuff. Mm. So like I have my favorite set of templates from Gen Con 2015. Sold my 2017 ones. Um, man, I haven't won a lot of redundant prizes, but the stu the duplicate stuff I just end up selling. It's okay. like if it's, yeah, there you go. So I don't like anything cool or unique. I keep, um, but I have got to keep the habit going. Got to be able to keep traveling. It's about the memories, right? Like it is. The one thing I haven't gotten around to doing yet is I'm gonna build a shadow box from Gen Con 2015 mm -hmm. with um, just to show everything. Yeah, I'm trying to decide which bigs to use because the bigs that I ran at Gen Con, the alt art, um, the buddy that taught me the game gave me. Mm -hmm. So very wholesomely, I keep that bigs because that's from my buddy John who taught me X Wing. Oh, phone. So, like, I want to frame it, but I also want to use that Biggs whenever I play Biggs. So I was thinking putting the Spock Loss Miranda and the Spock Loss Biggs in there. But then there's no Spock Loss Lorik yet, so, like, that would stand out. Oh, so that'll be next, next tournament. I keep telling Nathan, because he, uh, he gets to pick the alt art. I'm like, you need to demand that. Like... <laughs> Had I had I done that, like had I won, I would be like, "You guys are gonna make a Miranda alt art," and then they would have had to reveal that this. Mm -hmm. I was like, "The Spock loss is out there," so I would have just demanded Spock loss lower. Mm -hmm. Like I would email FFG every day. Hey, this is your Continental Champion, the Zach Matthews Carolina Crates podcast. <laughs> Where's my Spock loss lower now? <laughs> every day. FFG hates me. No, they don't. So, do you know what your next matchup is? Um, I think it's gonna be Dylan. Dylan. Yep. He's playing... Imperials. He's, he's playing one of my local The only non-Rebel players will be going in the face-off. Yep. So you, that should be a good matchup for you, yeah? I mean, you basically got to catch Kylo once and... We'll see. Yeah. Depends on what those gunboats can do to me first. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I can I can tell you from my experience, once you fly past them, if you've got a fat turret of your own, mm -hmm. like, they'll just start wearing down and be sad. But since you're not playing, you're playing Nim instead of Miranda, the damage they do will stick. So. Yeah, well, it all depends on if you're going to... A uh, gunboat off on that first round. Yep. If I can do that, I'm good. Yeah. But if not, Nim's sad. So one from Thermal, two. Uh, and that's the thing. I'm not from Harpoon. I'm not afraid to bomb myself either. Yeah. I actually won a few games you that way. You got him. Nate Moore <laughs> and I were talking about that. Listen to that, guys. Two people who are good at X-wing and me all advocate bombing yourself. Yep. I mean, uh, I bombed. I ioned Asajj yesterday with five stress tokens on her. <laughs> How did she get five stress tokens? Uh, stress spot Ezra. Nice. And I glitter stim myself too. That, I, the decision to ion bomb that Miranda, because we were talking about it, do you thermal debt for the extra damage, but then it's like you turn off your Asajj, and then when you ion, it's like, oh, you just guarantee another turn of being able to track her. Yeah, I know exactly where really she can't play. run away. Like, she can't too hard. Like, oh, you're going there? Yeah, I'll go one straight two, and I'll do another range two on you and yep. track you closer to that debris cloud. So control's that, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually... I mean, you know, my background running ions and yeah. B-wings. and figured like, you'd appreciate I, that. Dude, I was so, I was like, I was like, hey, I'm going to stop commenting and see if I can go into the redemption turning with this. <laughs> no, I, the way I've loaded out Nim, it's just such a good pair with Asajj. Just, you get your ion control, you get your stress control, and mm. any thermals that you do get triggered off if someone's going for Asajj, that's, it's a free evade. Yep. You spent an evade when you, or you spent a stress when you didn't have to, it looked like. He TLT'd you and... I didn't have to, but it's also one of those things, if she just, Miranda just starts chipping away at you... No, no, I mean, you had the you had enough evades to make it zero damage and you spent a Oh, stress. I probably forgot I took the uh, evade action. I'm like, well, whatever. Yeah, well, it was one hit to one evade, yeah, yeah. but I we just figured, you know, late in the game... That and you're gonna, she's gonna run away and get rid of him anyway, so yeah. it didn't really make a difference at that point. Okay. Uh, we were just wondering if there was something we missed. Or no, just okay. something I missed. 
So overall, you're pretty happy with the list. If you're a scum player, is this something people should grab? Um, yeah, it does require a lot of patience because if you can't get Nim and, and this is a key point, you have to get both Nim and Asajj to engage at the exact same time. The Really, the strength of the lift is in that trajectory. Just getting that first bomb off really sets the pace for the rest of the game. Okay. Um, free damage and thermal or control with the ion is just one of the two because you can follow those bombs up one at a time. And then with Genius, if you need to get Nim out of the way, just three bank and Genius one behind you. Yep. Just cover your tracks. Yeah, yeah, that three bank covers a lot of ground mm -hmm. for that. Okay. Yeah, because I know you've, you've had tournaments where you've performed very well and you've come away and been like, yeah, but I'm not flying this list anymore. Yeah, I like to rotate lists. So last, so I flew Palpaces. I've flown Miranda Ray a lot. Yep. Now I tried something new. So I flew a variant of Peratini last season, but with Paleb instead. I, I just like to rotate. I mean, I'm buying these ships. Yeah. I'm At the same time. Well, can, it's, it's a whole game. Like whenever someone says, I only play one faction, I'm like, why? Right. It's like, like there's times when you don't jive with an idea or play style, but But at the same time, like for me, I learn how to beat lists by playing them too. Exactly. So figure out what the strengths and weaknesses are. So just try to spread out, know how the game mechanics works, get used to everything and it'll make you a better overall player. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean you learn how other stuff does. And not only that, but you set your stuff up you set yourself up for stuff. Like one of my all time like things that I was happiest about in hindsight is like I played a lot of Carner Jacks mm -hmm. and that when the fangs came out i like i already had this like understanding of you know playing these aggressive dodgy ships like so mm -hmm. playing going from jacks to fenral was just a blast it was like you, know, you play you play some ship that like maybe it's just a good meta call or it's in a good position and it can position you all for future releases mm -hmm. like the one i always regret is i still don't really know how to play inquisitor i haven't got enough oh, table time with him you need to he's great he's so good i really do think the um that your aces is probably the best list in the meta right now I'm surprised we didn't... That's not something that... They, they don't want to see my list, though. <laughs> that's true. I mean, that's the thing. is They've got some scary stuff. I mean, your, your eats up that stress. Eats up the stress, and then but... And you give quick draw free shots, but you can put a lot of damage there. But here's the thing. If yours eating all that stress, he can't start taking it, and all of a sudden that stress starts to pile on, and then when you've got Inquisitor stressed and Ions, he yep. dies next turn. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a game. Both lists should be scared of each other, mm -hmm. so... But I, I do look at that as, like... If you feel like you can play anything, that's probably the best, most yes. well-rounded list right now. I do, I do adore your list. Like scum, scum is Asajj the faction right now, but um, it took a while to find it. I mean, for the indie regional, I ran Dengar, Fenrau, and Aldra, and I felt like it was really good expertise Dengar, but he didn't have the Dengar did not have the rerolls. I couldn't find the action efficiency with yep. it, so it did well, just not to the level I wanted it to. Yeah. So. Dengar is in a position right now where maybe he's a little bit like a rack type ship where you can throw him in and just yeah. you know, burn down stuff and do a lot of damage. Just but you need to have someone good to be backed up yeah, with that. Scum doesn't quite have, like, Nim, damage will stick to Nim. Mm -hmm. Push limit Fenrau is wholesome and fair. It um, is, but at the same time, a stress fence, a dead fen too. That's yep. what I always say. Yeah. Asajj is, you know, Asajj is probably better than Dengar in a lot of spots anyway if you put more points there, mm -hmm. so... She can, at least, she can at least take damage in return. Mm -hmm. Someone asked if I... I'm reading Twitch stream. Oh, uh, Harvest277, thank you for... Um, thank you for subscribing. I'll try and keep track on this and read this. Uh, the round one is over. Um, we're just killing time in between, trying to provide better entertainment for you guys. <laughs> Doing my best. Um, someone asked about my Titanfall and X-Wing swag. Uh, it's Titanfall. Titanfall wins. Uh, <laughs> Titanfall miniatures game win. If there's a Titanfall miniatures game, even if it's made by WizKids, uh, I'm never playing X-Wing again. Oh, I'd I'm be just, so sad. I'm just gone tomorrow. I, that, that's hyperbole, but I can't imagine. I love. I adore Titanfall. I, I play the stupid Volvo game on my phone all the time now, too. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at it. I don't spend enough time at my computer or on my phone, but I, I adore that universe. Um, did you get it? My man, my boy Andrew, won with, uh, actually, so Nim, um, a Hawk, and a BSF. Great. You get it, Nathan? Yeah. All Good right. Job. Oh, you got dice. This is broken. All right. <laughs> Look at Nathan getting dice for the first time in forever. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe now I can make a cut next week. William? <laughs> what? Yeah, Will we got it. Next round. Yeah. So.
All right. No. So, um, hey, can you guys check on Sarah's game? Sarah won. Sarah won? Sarah pulled it out? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so. She pulled it out. Dion's out. They're posting, they're posting the winners right now. Oh, Sarah, oh, Sarah was playing Dion. That's yeah. right. So, we've got. Really? No, yeah. Dion's going to be Sarah. Wait, no. Oh, no, they're. Which they're is still it? Playing. Yeah, they're they're still playing. Still oh. Playing. It's Kylo against Nora and Kylo for performance. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. So. So we definitely got huh. Will, Nathan, Nick, My our dad. Kevin, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin ID, top eight. Kevin he ID. got dice for the first time too. Yeah. So are you gonna make? Are you gonna take away all the dice you've been giving him and make him use his own now? Oh no, we, we share all the dice. Stuff. All right, all right. There you go. <laughs> um, so that's four. Um, the winner of uh, Sarah and Dion's game. Jeremy um, might actually win this game. It's super close. What's he, Jeremy playing? Uh, he's playing Francois. Oh, okay. Miranda Nim. I like Francois as a human being. I hate playing against him, especially freaking Miranda Nim. Francois broke me and is why I made Ego. He, I, I was playing Fairship Rebel against him, and he was playing Miranda Nim. I'm like, there's nothing I can do. I need my own regening point fortress bullshit <laughs> turret garbage back at him. So, uh, The guy who was playing three resistance bombers lost to Kevin Eide. Wow. Yeah. Uh, oh, we got questions for you, Nick. Do you yep. believe that Nim is the best partner for Asajj, or is there another equally good partner for her? I have not found a better partner for her, and I've looked pretty hard. It's to build a tanky Asajj, especially with expertise right now. Expertise mm -hmm. is good. Let's all agree to that. Um, you only have less than 50 points, yeah. or maybe just shy over a few 50 points to work with, and I found that going with two other ships doesn't really there's work not, there's no synergy get, you can maybe get a mind link pair out of it i've but. tried it i mean i i ran for the chicago regional um inaldra mind link with Asajj and tweak yeah well three oh. yeah so one <laughs> so you ran an aldra yeah Asajj and, and a bid yeah yep wait four. maybe your bid just wasn't big enough for tweak it was four point bid oh it's got to be bigger okay bigger those are rookie numbers. I'll drop the uh, all the illicits drop and mods. I'll go Just drop the Asajj. Just drop the Asajj. <laughs> yeah. yep. Just a Tani and uh, Aldra by herself. <laughs> yep. And there you go. Yeah, it's it's just really hard to find a good pair for her. So, yeah. I mean, I've, I've flown Asajj for well over a year now, and I keep trying to find a better pair. And ever since the Atani got changed... Yeah, like there's the difficult. two TLT Y-Wings, but... It works, but I feel like even that, it's so easy to just counter two TLT-Ys. I realize well, lower PS and you can tear into anything that Asajj tracked there, but... And then everything that Nim brings to the table, though, I mean, you get the uh, opportunity to PS kill stuff. Right. You get the bombs, you get the double threat area of control, you get a point fortress. Unless you're against Torkoal Mux. Yep. <laughs> and then Nim gets PS killed by Torkoal Mux. So any thoughts on trying to find a way to get engine on Nim? Um, well, you got to get rid of tra trajectory if you want that. Trajectory is a system slot. Engine. Oh, engine mod. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I mean, no. Har so harpoon or engine instead of harpoon? You have to drop four points to do that. Yeah, it's probably a harpoon then. Okay, no. so you're pretty committed to the harpoon. I'm committed to harpoon. You need that damage output.